Bang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared and I'm pretty excited about this. So this is Migaron Knives. Now, a new knife. I've never tried one of these and they did send it to me. Now, these guys do their own OEM work and I believe they even take, yes, they take on services of OEM work for um, other, you know, for designers. This is the... Spyderco Delicon 20 CV in copper scales. Now, let's get into this baby because, yeah, I've been excited to check this thing out. Now, um, come on. I know I've seen the pictures online and it looks pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. oh man, that is a great size. For some reason, I thought it was bigger. This is such an awesome size. I'm going to give you guys a size comparison here in one second. Look at that. Be oh, this milling. Hear that? It is uh, so nice to the touch. I touch a lot of knives with milling. This is very nice. Like you can actually feel it. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, let's do thumb studs first. Look at them thumb studs. Nice, nice action. Um, a, I'm, I'm gonna call it a straight back, even though it's probably slightly of a drop point, but oh yeah. That is so cool. M390 blade steel, great access to. This is comfortable, man. This is nice. This is really, really nice, guys. Great thumb stud action. All right, let's check this front flipper. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Very nice front flipping action because look at this. See how we got that ridge that goes up? It's kind of like how you would flip up a knife. This is really nice. Let's see if we can do the top flip. Oh yeah, very easily. Let's see if we can flick off of, I don't even, I don't, eh, can I? Eh, there's not much of a fuller there, so I'm not, I don't, no, nah, no. Nah. You can just reverse flick off of the thumb stud. It's very easy. But here, let me show you guys a size comparison because I, I thought it was bigger. This is awesome. Not saying that bigger wouldn't have been awesome too, but I wasn't expecting this size. Here's the Delica. I mean, it's a little bit longer than the Delica. And everybody knows the Delica is a great size. You got basically the same, a uh, little bit longer handle length, but still, I'll pull out another one. Here's the Manix 2, which, um, you know, it's the same size as the Benchmade Griptilian, same size as the PM2, and you could see that it is a little longer than it. So this is a fantastic size. Um, let's look at the detent. Let's feel where it's at, too. Oh, yeah, nice little gold pivot. Look at that. We got a nice gold pivot. Okay, so the detent is nice and early. Even though it is on thumb studs, it's nice and early. Now that um, I can feel this right here uh, bumping me, but I can easily just drop my finger down a little bit and let it go right past. Very, very smooth. And you can always just go like this and let it drop all the way down. And I can feel it getting smoother and smoother. Man, that top flip is sweet. Yeah, I can feel it just getting smoother and smoother with every flip. You can technically go like that. Because I have this ridge so it keeps me off of that edge. This is very comfortable. You can see the... The... um. I guess the, 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 the ridge right here, whatever you'd call it, this chamfer right here is like a bead blast. And then you see how the milling takes over once it gets on top. 
and you can see the milling transferring slightly over the carbon fiber, not as pronounced as that. Man, very soft. I like how they put the inlay on the other side. The clip looks good, and the clip is on top of this surface and not on the lock bar, so it doesn't affect the lock bar. This is awesome. This is very awesome, and I can tell this thing's gonna make it in some videos. Like, not meaning like I'm definitely gonna do a full review on it, but I have a feeling that uh, this one's gonna make it in even more than just reviews, if you know what I mean. Yeah, perfect size EDC, and you know, since it's a straight back too, um. I see myself being able to, because this is a comfortable grip, with any type of straight back, and I don't mean the blade, I'm talking about the handle here. When you have a straight back, you have a great amount of leverage in pull cuts, cutting ropes and things like that. And then on top of it, you have this big bellied blade. Sometimes big belly blades aren't the best for reverse cuts, but we got a good amount of flat here, so you can get up behind a rope and all the leverage will be distributed across your, your four fingers, you know, and for a blade of medium size or a knife, I should say, of medium size, uh, because it's not small. It's not large. It's not small. It's literally the perfect happy medium size. You know what I got? Let me show you guys oh, another size comparison. Here is the Quiet Carry Waypoint. Great size comparison right there. Quiet carry waypoint. Now this is beefier, uh, meaning like like that and like that. But the length, and then um, maybe I should show you the the DW2, the Tuya Envy, because I've always thought this was one of the most perfect size knives right here. Um, it's just it's you know it's so good. That great size comparison right there. Bang. DW2 size, man, that is perfect right there. Dave Warren, uh, Tuya NV2, exact same size. Um, a lot of things are the same. Let's check out the stop pin. We got the stop pin down here for the open and the closed position. Awesome, man. All right, let's check it for the lockup. Feels very solid. Feels very solid. Especially for how smooth it is. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to link everything below, guys. I'll link, uh, you know, their Instagram. I'm going to link their page where you guys can get these, um, you know, get their knives. They have a couple different designs on there. They have another new model coming out. Um, it's uh, uh, a Micarta straight back. So I'm going to link whatever I can down below. And yeah, the review will be coming soon. Um, so we'll see how this thing goes. So far, you know, I'm loving it. I know I don't never say anything negative during my first impressions. You guys know that. Um, and if you don't, now you do. But, uh, but you know, I'm loving it. So we'll see how it tests and how it winds up turning out after everything. All right, guys. I love you guys. Peace.